When it comes to developing gynecologic cancer, Dr. Jonathan O has a few reasons how it develops. For most gynecologic cancers, they're what we term sporadic, meaning that there's no familial disposition, there's no genetic link. So about 85% will just be sporadic, but the small percentage will be hereditary. When dealing with gynecologic cancer, there are signs and symptoms to watch for that are associated with the three most common cancers. First, ovarian cancer. For ovarian cancer, the signs and symptoms are very generalized. And when I say generalized, what I mean is that the symptoms are not specific to what you would think would be gynecologic cancer. So the most common complaint that women will have for ovarian cancer is, is bloating and distension. So it's not pain, it's not any problems with, with what they feel like is their female organs, but it's just feeling bloated. Oftentimes people come in saying that they just can't eat as much, they feel full really early, uh, they feel like their, their bellies are getting bloated and their, their clothes are fitting more tightly. And these are problems that just persist and progress over time. Another form of gynecologic cancer is uterine cancer, which is common among both older and younger women. The most common sign for uterine cancer is postmenopausal bleeding. So if a woman generally over 50 who's done having periods starts to have any bleeding, then she should seek medical attention because that's a very, very worrisome sign. And that's the most common sign for uterine cancer. The most common sign for uterine cancer in a young patient would be heavy vaginal bleeding. So if you have bleeding that's much heavier than your typical period and this persists over several, several weeks to several months, then that warrants a, an evaluation and biopsy. Now to the third common gynecologic cancer, which is cervical cancer. The most common symptom for cervical cancer is abnormal bleeding. And oftentimes this will present as what we call postcoital spotting. And postcoital spotting is just a fancy term for spotting or abnormal bleeding after intercourse. What will happen is that the cancer will develop on the cervix with what we call trauma, and trauma could be intercourse. It stirs the cancer up and causes it to bleed, and women will present complaining of bleeding. If you are having any of these signs and symptoms, please consult your physician.